Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete resource groups in Azure using Terraform. I have logged into my Azure account. For using Terraform to create the resources in a specific Azure subscription, so we need to provide Terraform the necessary credentials. So for that, first we need to create an identity in the Azure Active Directory. Click Azure Active Directory. Click App Registrations. We are going to create an application object. Click New Registration. Give it a name. So let me give the name as Terraform itself. And I'm going to leave everything as default and then click Register. So we have successfully created an application identity so you can clearly see here it has an application id directory id that's a tenant id so these informations will be used in our terraform configuration file to authenticate to azure portal and create the azure resources so the next step is we need to give this particular application object the necessary role to access the subscription so for that let's go to the home click subscriptions click access control click add and click add role assignment so click contributor so this contributor has the necessary permissions so we'll give the contributor role then click next so we will select the user group or service principal select members and here we'll search for the application object would be created and select review and assign so we are doing the role assignment so the terraform application object has been given the contributor role so now let us go and add the terraform configuration file so for the information on how the configuration file will look like and what are the informations we need to add you can refer to this terraform documentation so terraform supports more than 1000 providers so the documentation now what we are seeing is for the azure provider so here we need to notice a couple of informations one is the version so this is one of the information we need to provide in the in the terraform configuration file so here you can see this is the the terraform block we will be adding it so here we are adding the version information also and then this is the place where we will be providing all the credential information so here they have a given an example how we will be able to create a resource group so you can see this is the resource type so you will be able to see in this documentation and find more information about the specific resource type. So already in, my, in the previous video we have seen for creating a resource group we just need the name and location. So now let's go and add the Terraform configuration file. I am going to use the Visual Studio Code Editor for creating the Terraform configuration file. So before that, let's confirm that we have the Terraform installed in the system. We can see Terraform version 1.4.4 is already installed in this system. So now let's add the configuration file. First, I'm going to add the providers.tf file. So for all the Terraform configuration file should have an extension .tf. So here I'm going to add the Terraform block for providers. So I'm going to provide the add the provider for Azure Resource Manager. So this is going to be HashiCorp Azure Resource Manager. And then we'll give the version the version what we have so in the documentation is 3.51.0 so we have added the terraform block so now let's add the provider so 
we need to give the provider name which is the Azure RM so now we need to add the subscription ID so for that let us go to our Azure portal subscriptions so this is the subscription ID let's copy it we'll add the subscription ID here and then next we need to add the client ID we need to go to the directory app registrations terraform so here you can see the application client ID just copy this next we need to provide the client secret for that first we need to create the secret add a click add a certificate or a secret client secrets click new client secret just give it some name and then click add so we have successfully updated application credentials just copy this credential value because it will be visible only now so copy it somewhere and we can further use this so the next we need the tenant id so let's copy the tenant id you can see the tenant id here let's copy that now we need to add the features block Azure resource manager provider allows to customize certain Azure resources using this resource block let's save the changes so now let us create a new file called main.tf where we are going to define the resource block so we are going to create the resource Azure RM resource group select this and we are going to give the name as the demo group so this particular resource type plus the resource name will be used to identify this specific resource in this terraform configuration file right so this is not going to be the name of the actual resource group so now we are going to provide the name of the resource group which we want it to be created let's give the name as demo resource group and then we need to provide the location so location I'm going to use as East US. Now let's save the changes. Now we have created all the necessary configuration files. Let's do a Terraform init. It is installing the HashiCorp Azure RM provider version 3.51.0. Terraform init is successful. Now let us format the files using the Terraform FMT command. So it has formatted both the files. Now let's validate using the validate command. The configuration is valid. So now let us execute the Terraform plan. The Terraform plan command actually creates the execution plan. So which provides the information on what are the resources Terraform will be creating, deleting or replacing when the terraform apply command is executed so here you can see it is going to create the azure rm resource group dot demo dot group resource will be created so the plus sign indicates it is going to create the resource also the plan says one to val so it is going to add one resource now let us do a terraform apply So Terraform apply also creates execution plan and it asks for the approval. Let's provide the approval. The resource group has been successfully created. Let's validate that. Let's go to home. Click resource groups. And we can see the demo RG resource group which we created using Terraform. You can see it in the Azure portal. Now let us go and delete the resource group what we created. So deletions of the resources can be achieved using the terraform destroy command terraform uses a tf state file 
so which has the information about the existing environment so that it uses to compare with the new configuration and then it creates a plan on whether the resource has to be created replaced or deleted so the terraform destroy command also has created a execution plan so here it says that particular resource group will be destroyed and the minus sign indicates it's going to delete the resource and it is asking for the approval let's provide the approval the resource group have been successfully deleted let's go and validate that let's refresh we could see that the demo rg resource group which we created earlier has been deleted because just now we executed the terraform destroy command to delete the resource group in this demo we have seen how to create and delete resource groups in azure using terraform thanks for watching the demo